I am going out of town tomorrow and I'm trying to accomplish so much. Actually like the most requested video on my channel right now. This is for TJ Maxx skincare products. Shopping at TJ Maxx for skincare products. So I'm hopping into TJ Maxx and I'm going to see what they've got here. The TJ Maxx I'm going to I think is a pretty decent size and it's in a decent area so they should have decent stock but you never know. Every TJ Maxx is different I believe but it's crazy I had several of you guys request this so I guess there's TJ Maxx like all over. Hi guys, so I'm doing a voiceover for this because it was so noisy in there, but I was so impressed with the selection of products here at this TJ Maxx and um, other TJ Maxx in general. So they had like this really cute holiday table full of like cute little gift sets. These are gift sets that people might actually want. Like these colors are usable. Who doesn't want like five new lip colors, you know? Um, and these colors are decent too. Like all of them are wearable. I loved this one, like with the news, then you get a pop of red. Um, and this is Elizabeth Arden. So they had some good quality stuff and for so inexpensive $10, like for four lip colors, that's pretty good. They had some that were even less expensive. Like this one, this one I think was like six or seven, but um, again, like neutrals, a couple pops of gold, those shimmery ones you can layer on top of the neutral ones for $5. And um, just absolutely loved like all of the holiday themed palettes and gift sets they had. So if you want to stock up on like the basics like this, for example, this is like a neutral and cool tone palette by um, Makeup Revolution, which is typically carried at like Ulta or drugstore. And these colors are amazing and the price point is insane. So if you just need to like get some basics for your collection and start like playing with make makeup, practicing with makeup, or even if you're like experienced and you just need to stock up, like this is an amazing place to do that, like $7 for this. So they had all of these palettes, which all are in great shape from great brands. This is another Makeup Revolution. This is like a highlighting palette. Their highlighters are great. Um, they've got like a lighter toned one and then one for darker skin tones. But you can really use any of those like as eyeshadows and whatnot. This is by BH Cosmetics, which is kind of like in the same category as Makeup Revolution. And this is like warm, more warm toned for $9. And um, they have a really good reputation. So does Makeup Revolution for good quality products. So again, if you need to stock up, this is a good place to come. And they had really cute, like, that's a Nicole Miller palette. They had really cute, like, palettes you could gift as well for the holidays. Um, which I'll show you in a minute, but this is a color correcting palette for $5 by Makeup Revolution. So if you are looking for, um, like again, like the basics for your collection, this is a good place to do it, but that's an amazing deal. Okay, so let's see what else. This is, this is like one I found that I thought would be so cute to gift. This is obviously the packaging is adorable, great colors year round but also just for the holidays berries and neutrals and some like warm tones okay this was an amazing find laura geller's highlighters are so good and for seven dollars you get three different colors yeah her illuminators are to die for so that's gorgeous the middle one could be a blush topper the one on the right, if for me, could be like an eyeshadow for darker skin tones would be obviously like a highlighter. Okay, so now I'm going to bounce over to the skin care section, which was huge. So here's some Clinique. I really don't know if it's that much less expensive than at like the drug that the normal like at Sephora. It's $30 for this. So I don't 100% know how much it is like normal price. And that lotion is kind of like the basic lotion if you are looking for just kind of like a Clinique product or a product that probably won't irritate you that would probably be it um lots of L'Oreal Revitalift lots and lots Revitalift is their anti-aging brand 
these formulas are decent. Um, lots of silicone, which is a good occlusive. Um, some, you know, glycerin near the top. It's a good humectant. Of course, this does have fragrance near the bottom, as you can see. It also has retinol palmitate and salicylic acid near the bottom. That could be used for preservative or it could be active in the formula, just depending on how high a quantity it appears. And this also has hydrolyzed soy protein, which is good for anti-aging. But yeah, fragrance. Um, but for $10, you know, if you're not sensitive, it could be something good. That's for the day. It would require an, an SPF on top, I believe. This is more of like a night cream. For the face and the neck, it has Centella Asiatica, which is also known as like a Sika. Like whenever you see like Sika pear or Sika this, Sika that, that's like a healing balm. It includes Centella Asiatica, which is, um, there's a lot of evidence to show that it does um, help in wound healing. So could be good for anti-aging. Of course, that did have fragrance as well. This white lucin, I used to use this when I was younger. I really don't know what the ingredients are like. But it could be, you know, kind of like an immature formula since it's such an old product. But I remember it working well. Um, this product I think could be good. It has ceramides. It also has fragrance, obviously. It's not the best one I found here, but I love those water gel hydrators. And um, yeah, this one also has ceramides. Um, and I don't know when it says illuminate, I don't know what that means. Cause I couldn't find like an illuminating ingredient in there, but, um, potentially like the silicone could give you like a transient, like a luminous effect. Um, so this is like a very good, like basic moisturizer. I believe this also has fragrance in it, but, um, this is usually pretty non-irritating and for $4, I think that's just like an amazing deal. And positively radiant. Um, I forget what is in here that helps to brighten. I think it's soy protein, um, but it has some citric acid that could be pre preservative, but all in all, a good basic moisturizer for the day. Um, I would recommend layering that Aveeno with another SPF as it's only SPF 15, but there is an Anastasia bronzer. Sometimes the bronzers here are a little bit like patchy. So, um, for eight dollars you can get an acure what is this this is like a beauty oil by acure it does have a lot of fragrant oils i would probably just steer clear of that because there are other options here so i don't really recommend any of glam glow's products because they tend to be quite irritating despite like they do have innovative products with good ingredients but they are fragrance heavy and just contain irritating ingredients like essential oils and whatnot so um, but if you do want to try it, they have it here at TJ Maxx for less expensive than at Sephora or whatnot. So this is another L'Oreal product. This is the triple active, let's see, um, similar formula, probably, let's see, um, water, it has sunflower seed oil near the top, glycerin, dimethicone, could be really hydrating. This is hydrate, pr protect, and correct, so it must have some sort of um, lightening ingredient in there, I'm assuming. Could be a good deal, but again, fragrant, laden. This is probably one of your best bets. I think this actually does have fragrance in it too, but it, uh, likely to be non-irritating. It is from their Naturals brand, their Naturals, you know, umbrella but I like that it breaks down all the ingredients here for you. So you can kind of see the derivative of these ingredients. But this could be a good product in general. Um, very hydrating. It's a logical formula with all three moisturizing components. So this is the L'Oreal for mature skin hydrating moisturizer so this is their anti-aging product with spf 15 of course you do need more spf than that but this has looks like it has soy protein in it and it must have some good occlusives in it if it's going to give you all day hydration and with an even skin tone a complex to help even skin tone out um, okay, so the active ingredients are SPF pretty much. It has some collagen, jasmine, I don't know, 
like I swooped it away too quickly to see the rest of those, but the active ingredients are SPF. So I guess there's going to be nothing in here that's going to actively brighten. So I'm not sure why it says it will brighten. I guess there's some other ingredients in here that could just by um, the, you know, by hydrating, you're going to definitely see a brightening effect. So this is, oh yeah, fragrance. No, lots of fragrance in this one, honestly. It has some, I think it has yeast as extract, which is still being studied, but um, could be promising. Okay, so this is a brand I've not seen before, Daniela Roche Hyaluronic Acid um, Cream. I expect this to be like a really hydrating kind of gel water cream. And um, it does have, again, fragrance in here, but it does have squalane, which is a good moisturizer. Um, hyaluronic Acid, obviously, and some good occlusives. This could be a good product. This collagen firming day cream caught my eye. It's like very basic looking, $6. And I think this one actually had very minimal ingredients. Nope, I'm just kidding. But it does have silicone, it has seryl alcohol, glycerin. Um, these are all very emollient and hydrating ingredients. It has dead sea salt, which could be good for... Um, it has some peptides, which all could be good for... Um, hydration but it does have fragrance like halfway down so probably will not be a pleasant experience with that much fragrance this I actually loved uh, I almost bought this it's only five dollars I should have bought it um, I would use this for the body though for five dollars the formula is really nice like very clean the only issue is maltodextrin. I don't know why that ingredient irritates me. If you're if you're sensitive to mineral oil, obviously this wouldn't work for you, but it does have aloe and it is very low fragrance, if any. I, I don't know if that flower extract is, um, you know, aromatic or not, but um, this could be really good. I loved this. Okay, so they do have e.l.f. products, e.l.f. skincare products for those of you interested in trying elf definitely check out tj maxx a lot of you have asked me about this i personally don't recommend it because it has fragrance but the ingredients are pretty limited ingredients for um the majority of their products and um this one probably has like 15 ingredients or so it has niacinamide near the top it could be good if fragrance doesn't bother you although i don't recommend it then that could be a good option. They've got a few different other products here. This is um, pretty much just coconut oil. I think it has shea butter in it. Um, kelp extract it has, uh, let's see, anything else interesting? Yeah, shea butter, glycerin. That could be really, really hydrating for $6. It's a hair mask. It's not for the skin. But, okay, let's see. They've got clean and clear. Don't buy that. <clears throat> they've got this micellar water if you like micellar water this would be a good one to try i've actually never tried the l'oreal one but for four dollars girl yes it's a good option they also have the pink version this might be for oil free makeup or it could be i'm sorry waterproof makeup or it could be just the skin type normal to dry skin versus normal to oily skin that's what it is so Okay, they have so many Acure products. I love Acure. Ooh, what happened? Hello. Um, so many Acure products. So definitely check out TJ Maxx if you want to try Acure. This is Bay. I absolutely love this product. $10, so a little bit less expensive than at the drugstore. I think it's like $14 or something at the drugstore. But it's nice they do carry some CeraVe products. Mm, and they do have first aid beauty here and there this is a tint cream a tinted moisturizer with spf 30 this could be amazing i didn't get it but i kind of regret not getting it because well for 15 i don't know i feel like that's not even that great of a deal and i don't know much about their tinted moisturizers if they're good or not but that was not very much product um this has okay so this is a vitamin c product with carrot i think this had a lot of essential oils in it for five dollars it has witch hazel 
um, carrot, peanut, tea tree. I don't recommend tea tree. Um, it can be antibacterial, but yeah, this has fragrance in it too. This looks like it'd be pretty irritating. It has ascorbic acid in it, but it's probably very unstable in this formula. And you don't know like the expiration dates of these since they're at um, TJ Maxx. You don't know. It could be expired. Not expired, but past its prime, shall we say. So this was actually my favorite, favorite line at the drugstore. This is no BS. Like you can see the ingredients are very straightforward, clean. It's a logical formula. It has water, it has glycerin, it has a humectant, it has an occlusive, and it has emollients. It does have collagen, it has vitamin C, which really, you know, can't hurt anything necessarily. So um, it has elastin, which I don't know actually I'm not sure like how that would behave on the skin topically but for seven dollars it's still a solid moisturizer which would be very hydrating so I want to check out some of the other products from this brand this vitamin c serum sleep vitamin c sleeping mask I just absolutely love that this was one of the only lines that did not have fragrance in it and I love that the formulas are very clean it's what you look for you just look for minimal ingredients not a lot of like essential oils or fluff or things that you know they're trying to make it look all natural or whatever you know when it's really just irritating so this line at TJ Maxx I loved especially the fact they have this sleeping mask I think the paraffin probably acts as a occlusive and vitamin c it's an overnight restorative gel cream sleeping mask interesting yeah i think it's probably the paraffin that smooths your skin out just transiently but for six dollars it's a really good decent formula so the instant line smoother with vitamin c collagen and elastin i believe this one may have had fragrance i have to i have to see but um, aloe it has green tea bergamot there's there's the um, thing that ruins everything because copper would be great but yeah bergamot's very irritating it makes you also very photosensitive so gel cleansers are not my fave because I don't like that they're stripping but um, at TJ Maxx this would be a good cleansing option it has vitamin E beads which it's debatable what vitamin E actually does for the skin um, can't really read that that well and it has SLS near the top if that irritates you probably wouldn't be a great product so let's see what else they have um, oh they have philosophy which the, I love some of their products but their formulas are so heavy look at that with all those bitter orange rosemary like that's supposed to make it look more natural but to me it just looks like you're irritating my skin okay cut to look at these brushes they had such an array of brushes if you need to stock up on brushes or sponges tj maxx is the place to go they have really good quality brushes japanesque um they have a lot of other brands, Trisha McAvoy, that I don't even know that they just looked like really good quality. Um, most brushes, you can really, you can really make a lot of brushes work. Um, they don't have to be super expensive. The main thing I hate is when they shed. That kind of ruins it for me. So, okay, this is like their all natural quote unquote section. And these are it's kind of like an apothecary vibe most of these are like glass dropper bottles some of these formulas are really nice hemp seed oil i think it's like four or five dollars and you get soybean soybean oil hemp and then perfume that's not what you need in a face product but that's fine um overnight repair facial oil i've seen this brand before i've never used it retinol blue tansy the f i like how limited the ingredients are but i think that one has fragrance too so it's unfortunate so this is plants is that the brand name multi fruit enzyme could be good i guess it did int intrigue me enough to look at the ingredients oh that's a room spray don't confuse that for a hydrosol or something 
avocado plus hyaluronic acid. That could be interesting. Um, yeah, that could be an interesting product. Hyaluronic acid with oil. That oil sometimes act as an occlusive, and then hyaluronic acid acts as like a humectant, obviously. So here's some natural deodorant for you. And then here's some more Anastasia bronzers. Again, sometimes the bronzers, blushes from the from TJ Maxx or whatever can be a little patchy, but worth it. Sometimes they're exactly the same way as they are in the normal stores. So love that they have Too Faced here. Lots of e.l.f. products. Um, lots of Laura Geller. Love this. Love this. If you want to get that as like a stocking stuffer or something, this Nicole Miller palette caught my eye. And then lots of lashes. I actually found an amazing pair of lashes here. Um, they've got some like nice like off brands. You just have to know what to look for. If you like wispies, they've got this. I don't like wispies, but they're very popular. And um, this was pretty much it. But overall, TJ Maxx has some really nice deals. And if you want some like holiday themed things, look at all these brushes, like lots of nice gift sets for yourself or for a friend but they had all of these gift sets love them the brushes are so cute yeah for ten dollars you get all of those brushes that's crazy so crazy so these brush sets are broken up into either for the face or for the eye like these are for the eye and then um actually this one's really good uh, like a very basic there's a crease brush on the left then that that next brush to the right of that is really kind of useless you can't use that for eyeliner or anything but the flat bristle brush that one and then the one to the right I use for like sculpting my eyebrows and then the one to the very right is used for like eyeliner so that's a really nice set I think that's Sonia Kashuk and Kenzie has some nice brush sets in general. Okay guys, so that was the video. Um, I did have to do like a voiceover because the no this store was like quiet so you could actually hear every noise. Like everyone around, like the coughing, the people on the intercom, like everything. So I did a voiceover for this one. So hopefully you guys don't mind. But honestly, there was like so much good stuff. Come here. <clears throat> there was literally so much good stuff, so. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.